morning seashell addicts let's talk about something the city of orange beach is passing well the, the laws are even passed where you're not supposed to be digging holes in the beach but from what i understand they're going to be enforcing it more strictly which means that today on the 31st of december this is the last day that i'm going to be able to dig a hole looking for shells on the beach here and I do have a family of four behind me looking through our treasure hole right here for one last time so unfortunately my regular shell hunting trips that I book on Airbnb uh, I'm no longer going to be able to book so really unfortunate but that is the government for you once they uh, find something that you enjoy they take it away from you or they make you pay heavily to do it. Uh, what I think happened is a lot of people that have been watching my videos have been coming out here digging holes and not filling them in, which is super unfortunate. Because uh, I do teach my videos to fill your hole back in after you're done digging it. So people have been falling into the holes and so the city has decided that they're going to strictly enforce no more digging for shells super sad I know how's that gonna affect my channel not too bad I still got the micro shelling and shark tooth hunting which is on top of the sand it doesn't require any digging of holes um, but yeah so just wanted to let you guys know that that is the end of the end of the year news here in Orange Beach Alabama you can no longer dig holes to find shells so we're gonna make the most of this day and uh, try to find as many good ones as possible What are we finding? Anything good? Yeah. Nice. Quite a few Another of those. one right there. Oh, I totally missed that one. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, this is good at this. There is their bag so far. Being filled up. How do you guys feel since you're the last ones that are going to be legally able to do this? <laughs> That's a piece of coral. Very exciting. Glad that we booked when we did. Yeah. Hey, what? It's going to be illegal now? Yep. Yeah, tomorrow this, this activity will be no longer legal. Are you serious? That's yep. why. That is uh, government for you, so <laughs> be careful who you vote for. <laughs> Local politics. Yep. Let's see what else we got in here. Anything else good? Part of the sand all there. Ooh, Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, oh, that's, that's nice. It's conch shell. That's Very good. These little clear ones are called jingles. Yeah, jingles. <laughs> they break in half so they're very fragile. Yeah. I got Alright, brushers on, I'm I'm recording you, so. Alright, so I dig like a champ. Yep. Don't fall in. I mean if you fall in it'd be better. <laughs> I tried. Trying to gain, I'm trying to gain subscribers here, not lose them. So. <laughs> Alright, you want to let Tristan dig? I think his arms are longer. Um, Why would you do that? What is the point of putting more sand in there? Alright, Tristan, all you. Alright. Oh, that's what's up. So you're looking for all that crunchy sand down there. That's what you want to throw in the bucket. If you just throw soft sand in, well, you're not going to find anything. Yeah. Right. Here, and I'm going to dig this one out with my hand. It's all nice one down here. Oh, there you go. Yo. That one's a beautiful olive shell. Alright, wash that one off. Part of a shell. Mm -hmm. I can find a no big shell. They're there. You just gotta keep doing the process of parting it away and oh. pushing it to the side. That's 
good on the black bucket. Fill up the white bucket. Ooh, that's a nice uh, base scallop, rainbow scallop. I'm gonna throw it in here. There you go, dude. Look right there. And right there. No. And right here. There you go. See, you just dug those ones out. Eh. I was working on it. I haven't even seen them. I ain't even seen them. Might right. be another one down here. Oh, that's both of them. Yeah, take that. Alright, I will help you guys find There you go. Look at that one right there. You see it? Right there. Yep, that's a baby conch shell. Juvenile conch. That's okay, I fart all the time too. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Alright. Keep on looking. Like right in here, man. Let's look straight in this little area right here. I'm just gonna move all this to the side. That one's cool, huh? Another juvenile conch shell. Found a good one. Awesome. It's a really nice. Here's uh, some of the finds in oh. there. So. Thanks, Si. That's a big one. All right. Yeah, right there. That's a good one. Nice. Very good. Still, I think there's some more cool stuff in that. Right down in there. Keep on digging in there. Aggressive with it. That's that's the that's the sweet spot. That crunchy sound. You got it. You got it down to a science. I think so. A little bit more. A little bit more. All right, that should be good for that one. Very good. You uh, learn well, grasshopper. Shake it. That should be good right there. All right. Let's go see what you got. Hey there. Yeah, I see a big unicorn horn. Yeah, you got it. Nice. Is yeah, it's a nutmeg. Oh, there's another little one here. Can I get in and look? Nope. This looks really good. I found like a
jingle. Those are pretty. They're oh, so I think my thing is like clear. Mm -hmm. Oh, I might have already got it, babe. Yeah, we don't really ever get full sand dollars here. They'll get crushed by the yeah. current before they make it to the shoreline. got a barnacle on it, that's cool. Look at this one you guys missed right here. It's yep. oh. a really good one. favorite finds for the last shelling trip of 2021 got a beautiful bay scallop and some nice olives and an auger got, ooh, that's a really beautiful olive right there that's a mcfatty that's what i like to call those <laughs> and then you've got two really nice juvenile conch shells and some really nice olives and then that's the bottom of a regular conch shell did you guys have a good time so much fun. Thank awesome you. there you go guys bittersweet but uh, that is the last, last digging trip that I'm probably going to be doing for a while. Still focus on the micro shells, but we're going to end on a good note. As I was filling the hole back in, a really awesome rare seashell kind of popped out of the side of the wall. And uh, I haven't found one of these in a while for my personal collection, so I'm going to rinse it off and show it to you guys real quick. And uh, that's how we're going to end 2021. You guys ready? Check it out. Got ourselves a beautiful bonnet. Scotch bonnet seashell. I think that's a good little promise to earth saying thank you for finding all these shells we want to end you with a good one so that is my last seashell i'm going to find in 2021 thank you so much friends for being a part of my channel and my journey journey's not over with yet we're going to go a little bit of a different direction with 2022 but what a beautiful seashell to end the year on